Hello friends, and today I thought I'd share my process for creating a digital clock for a scene that I've been drawing and animating during my weekly weekend live streams. And if you'd like to join me for those in future, I'd love to have you there. To subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of when they're due to start. So during this live stream, I drew and animated a kitchen scene to show when I take a short break in the middle of the stream. And I wanted to add a digital clock to show on the oven front to show a countdown, so viewers know when I should be back. I thought this would be an interesting project to share in a tutorial. So I wanted to create this in a separate project so that I could use it in other projects. So I started by creating a new project and scene into Homer 2D. And then after showing some guidelines which are exclusive to Tahoma 2D, I created a standard raster level, selected the pencil brush from the raster brush options, and started sketching the rough size that I wanted for each of the numbers. But then after adjusting the size of the numbers, I created a new vector level. And I chose a vector level because it's easier to edit the colour and the shape of the bars that make up each number. And I wanted a traditional seven segment number. So I did this by creating a rectangle with a geometry tool and then using the control point editor I added a point at the top and the bottom of the first rectangle and then filled it in in the same colour. And then using the select tool I just copy and pasted the bar to create the six other bars to create the seven bar figure eight shape. Then once I had that set up I used the duplicate option to create nine duplicate drawings and then on each of the drawings I deleted the segments that I didn't need, leaving just the ones that make up the number. And to make it easier on myself, as I edited this animation, I left the same number on the numbered drawing. So drawing number one had the number one on, drawing number two had number two on, and so on. Because I intended to do a lot of copying and pasting, so it'll make it easier to look at the timeline to see which numbers are in which columns. And then selecting the column header, I press the copy and paste keys to create a duplicate column with those 10 numbers in and then removed all apart from the numbers 0 to 5 and then this would become the tens column for the seconds of the clock and the intention was to play the animation at one frame per second and this would make it easier to play the animation back to change in one drawing for every frame so to do this I used the reframe with empty in between command in the reframe flyout of the context menu. So I highlighted the six drawings, chose that command, and then on that dialog, I changed the steps to 10 steps and zero in-betweens, which means it would show each drawing for 10 frames. So then I just needed to duplicate the original 10 drawings to show at the right time beneath this. And I did this from the repeat command in the edit cell numbers flyout of the context menu. So again, I highlighted the 10 drawings in the sec unit column, chose repeat and entered five times in the box and pressed repeat. So then this would show zero to 59. So then I just had to do the same for the minutes. So I just copied the column using the animate tool to move the digit to the side and then showing the numbers not to nine, I reframed them on 60 frames and then I just repeated the two seconds columns to match. Finally, I added a zero at the far left, and this was shown for most of the animation until 10 minutes when it changes to the one. And to do this, I just used the repeat option. Finally, I added the colon in the middle of the numbers, between the minutes and seconds. And again, this was just a rectangle that I rotated to create a diamond. I repeated this up to the end of the animation, but once I'd done this, I had the idea of having the colon blinking while the clock ticked past. So to do that, I highlighted each of the other columns and chose to show them at two steps, which means it extended all of the drawing's exposures by two, to last twice as long. And finally, after deleting all but the first exposure of the colon drawing, I then copy and pasted that to frame three, and then highlighted from frames 1 to 4 and chose to repeat them through to the end of the animation. So that gave me the blinking colon for each second of the animation. And now we've got this colon blinking twice per second 
I'd have to change the FPS to 2 frames per second. So to test this out, I changed the background of the scene to white, and previewing the animation, this looked fine. So then creating a new project, I imported that scene as a sub-scene, and then cut the 10 minute animation down to a 5 minute animation, and then rendered it out and imported it into OBS to use during my streams. So that's a quick rundown of the process, but if you'd like to see more detail of this and see it at a slower pace to make it easier to follow, you can check out the live stream that I've linked in the card above and is linked down in the description. So hopefully this video has introduced you to a few of the timing operations and retiming operations in OpenTunes and Tahoma. Try them out and see what you can come up with. In the meantime, I need to get ready for my next live stream where I'll be doing some more drawing and animating with open tunes and to home 2D. So I'll see you there. And that's a guarantee.